I mean, it's not everybody fishes a Kissimmee chain. And I get why. You one get early, yeah, one of the early times I fished Tassinaw was when our club was in the Federation. There we go. And, uh, little guy. First fish coming to the boat. I got him on, on the BFS system. Almost a keeper. Yeah. They're running right along. I saw a couple of wakes. Yeah, they've been running chasing bait over there. What's up guys? That's Mike. He's out here with me. We're catching babies this morning. Just learning a little bit about the lake. Today, I'm gonna to show you my three or four top ways to catch fish in the beginning of the dog days, which they're getting here quickly. So y'all stick around. So the hydro is pretty bad out on Cypress? Oh yeah. You just have to learn how, you gotta know how to run around it. It's pretty topped out, pretty much. I mean, we've got a couple inches of rise in the water level the last couple days, so it doesn't look topped out, but it, it really is. Which is good, because if you know how to fish it, you can find a bunch of fish, but right now, that side of Cypress is muddy and dirty, and that's where some of the bigger fish have been coming from. This side of Cypress is clean. Because um, of that, we've had a we've had a really dominant east wind out here for the last two months. Huh. So the east side is all stirred up, and all the water that's pushed through the hydrilla mat is crystal clear on the west side. Two good spots: one clear, one dirty water, but you fish them completely differently. Okay, so technique number one, and you guys have seen me do this all spring. But in the beginning of the summer doldrums, which they're here, we don't have any current running. We've got no wind behind us. It was 80 degrees at six o'clock this morning. It's gonna to get to about 150 today, I think. Um, humidity is maxed out. Find your favorite shell bar. And the old school of just dragging a trick worm very slowly, light tackle. I got this on 20 pound braid. Mike's got my BFS rod and, and reel, and he's already boated one. I missed those one. It was tiny when we first got here, but we're fishing a shell bar extremely painfully, slowly with a trick worm. That's number one. Okay, technique number two. Now we're fishing edge of hydrilla, edge of Kissimmee grass, and some of these deep water canals and I'm trying to imitate the shad that are in here right now and the bass are feeding on them so I'm throwing a white top water. Later on, if we can find some schooling, we're gonna throw a jerk bait, um, a smaller 100 size, but what you're trying to do is imitate the shad that are in here now. Now we've seen some huge balls of shad already this morning. They weren't, we couldn't get the fish fired up around them yet, but it's still early. It's only eight o'clock, we've got two fish in the boat and a couple other bites, but second spot, different technique, imitating Chad. Stick around. Yeah, I guess he didn't know his way around. He had no idea where he was going, and the chart, at least the Navionics chart, is not accurate. I think I got a bite. I do. that big dude come on these fish have a lot of attitude he actually is a pretty good fish oh and there's oh you see the one with him is bigger cast right back in there behind him there's a six or an eight right behind him Number three. Get him on camera. Decent, skinny, Still hungry, no wonder he bit. But there was a bigger one with him, so there are some big fish here. They'll stick around. We got a ball of shad up here. I'm trying to run down. 
Oh, there we go. A little bit of breeze. Yeah. And I had a couple of them like that, and I finally met these people, and they supply the shirts for the pros on the for the MLF. I'm like, all right, I got my hands on the material. It feels great. Let's give it a go. Right, there we go. Jerk bait time. You need to pick this jerk bait back up. Okay, so technique number two still, we're imitating shad, but I picked up this little jerk bait. It's a KVD 100. And it's sexy go, so it looks like the shad that we have here. And he's not big, he's a little schooly, but and he's self releasing. Awesome. So that's number three. Cats in a row. I told you to take this bait. Mike's being stubborn. I'm sure he hears that a lot. Probably at home. Oh. Fish number two, next cast, and he just put it in my hand. Good job, guys. Fish number two, imitating Shad. Still imitating Shad. Y'all stick around. I need a little bigger. Get down closer to the bottom too. You might want to throw that trick worm over there because they're on the bottom right now. They're not on the top feed. Yeah, get him close. I'll, I'll zoom in on that. He'll look this big. I don't know how many that is. We're having a good time. Long arm shot. What's that? I give you the long arm. Yeah, there you go. I'll get that zoomed in real good. So, still two using two techniques. One on the bottom, and one imitating Chad. So it's working. In our third spot now, we've caught fish. Go stick around. Well, you know, you look at the back of the boat, and you got five inches of freeboard. I've seen them climb up on docks in my canal. There's another one, imitating a shed. We found them again. Get that jerkbait back out. But they hit it on the pause. I was, I stopped messing with it and turned to talk to you. That's a decent feed keeper. <clears throat> another one on the KVD 100, imitating shed. He's got three. He got all those. Nice keeper. He something's been eating on him. You see the scars? Yeah, I saw that. Something larger has been trying to eat him. We're still out here. Technique number two, imitating shad in the deep water. Stick around. Oh no, he's just mad. Look at him. It's good until you see him. He's all tangled up in that hydrilla. I thought he was something when I set the hook. I got a bruise in my chest. You're not big enough to be bruising me, dude. So we're back on our second spot. Back throwing a worm on a shell bar around some hydrilla. I don't know if we'll get to the third type. We might try it a little bit later before we go in, but two styles of fishing in the dog days will catch you fish, although they haven't been great fish. A couple of them have been decent. We could have probably put a decent Five fish limit together this morning of eight pounds, maybe. Kept me from taking a nap. So a lot, yeah. <laughs> but we're having a good time. I've shown you two ways. Maybe we'll get to the third one. We're gonna go out in that hydrilla, maybe. 
some big gators laying out there. There must be some fish out there and see if we can catch some in a minute. But right now we're having fun with the little ones. Stick around. All right, technique number three. So we're outside, out in Hydrilla, in Cyprus, and it's scattered. And the best way right now for me to find the bass is two baits. So we're gonna use a big vibe worm. This is the mega vibe. You can use CPF thumper. There's a does anything with a big paddle tail on it. And the other way we're gonna try is we're throwing a big white spook type bait. This is a uh, dogma, but we'll see how this goes. Y'all stick around. Well guys, we're out here on a big hydrilla flat. It's nice and quiet for the moment because I guess the airboat guys are having lunch. But we're out here with technique number three and uh, swimming this big vibe in the scattered hydrilla. It's not as muddy as it was. It's still pretty dirty over here, but it's like this big vibe still does the thing. So just to summarize, this morning we started with the little worm on shell bars and we've caught several fish doing that. This afternoon, well, a little later in the morning we switched over to the jerk bait imitating shad and caught some good fish doing that and the third and final way i like catching fish during this heat is get in the thick vegetation with a search bait hold on oh got a big one. you got a big one like a good fish oh let me get the net So, um, I want y'all to look and see, I was trying to summarize and the guy in the back of the boat won't leave me alone long enough to finish this video. Um, I don't know about y'all, but I'd say a vibe in the hydrilla in the middle of the day is a good thing. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. We will see you next time.